It's ALB in Whisper Land Deer. Welcome to What's in My Bag, an updated version. I'm filming in the morning today, which is very, very unusual. But we're finally getting a little bit of sun here, and I packed up a really nice little setup with my new handbag. This is the Telfar Lavender medium-sized shopping bag. And as I was getting ready to go out, I thought to myself, this looks really neat how I've got this all set up today, so why don't I show you all everything that I can fit in this bag that I'm bringing with me today. It's been a little while since I've gone out to see a friend, and a lot of my friends are also artists like me, and a lot of times we end up working on our stuff together, so I like to have options, and it's good, it's good to have something to work on when you're going to a friend's, you know? Personally, I love having people over to my place who are what I call self-entertaining people. So I like to be a self-entertaining person as well. I recently got this bag and I have to say I really love it. The color is absolutely pristine. It's hard to find a lavender this good. I'm also bringing my Starbucks tumbler with me today. This is from the 2021 um, Valentine's collection. And I'm obsessed with the ombre on this. I drink way more water now with this. I've got my little iPad case here. This is a Cap Kids in case. This case is technically made for a laptop, but I like it because it's got this soft foam. You can see it's really like squishy and padded. It's a little bit roomy for my iPad, but I like the added protection. I use like a hard case for my iPad, but this is just a little something so this is my case. It's like a rose gold kind of color. I don't really love it. It has this dark strap, which doesn't really go with the rest of my stuff. I probably do want to upgrade this at some point, but look, it, it does the job. It works. Um, my iPad is, I believe, the 12.9 inch I've had this for many years now, and I love it. I really, I really love it for digital art. This is a little recent doodle piece I did of um, one of the new Pokemon starters. It's such a cute Pokemon. I had to, I had to try, you know, give it a little sketch just for fun. I'm hoping at some point that I can um, draw the rest of them too. This case also has a little like spot that I'm not even sure how it broke, but there's a little break in the plastic. It takes a lot for me to replace things, um, so who knows when I'll really replace this. I've got my day planner here. I really don't love the outside of this day planner. Uh, you guys probably know I don't I don't love things with words on them um, because I, I don't know I just don't really like stuff with words on it. But I bought this planner last year, like the 2021 version, and I really liked the page layout. So without even thinking about it very much. I ordered 
the new year, I just ordered this planner online. But between 2021 and this year's version, the paper quality downgraded. So I was really disappointed with that. I don't really recommend this planner. Next year, I'm definitely going to get a different one. Next, I have my phone. Can't go anywhere without our phone these days. This case is a little crack in it, but I can't be bothered to replace it because I feel like I'm probably going to get a new phone at some point and have my girls as my background. It makes me happy to look at them, even if it's just through the phone now. I love seeing their cute this phone case has some marks on it too because I use um like disinfectant spray on it all the time. So the case is like a little discolored, but I love Snoopy. That's a fact. I just love Snoopy and Woodstock. Next I have my wallet. This is um an Angelic Pretty and Disney collaboration wallet which also suffers from um, a little bit of fading in the print due to the fact that I use uh, cleaner on it all the time. I usually wipe down all my stuff when I get in the door coming home, so it's still cute. It's still got the cute little pearls on it. Actually, at one point, one of these pearls fell off and I had to but I love this wallet. It's such a really, really cute design, so I'm gonna try to take care of it and fix it if needed. There's a little tag in here with the Angelic Pretty logo. And I've got a couple bucks in here. I've got uh, two toonies. You know, you never know when you're gonna need a toonie. I know you guys like seeing Canadian money, so here's... Uh, cards here as well. It's, yeah, it's gonna take me a lot to replace this wallet. It's so cute to me. Can't go anywhere without my Presto either. So, uh, I live in Toronto and you need a Presto card to use the subway and buses and things like that. You just tap on it. I have this little kind of, um, key fob thing that makes it so much easier. I never have to search in my handbag for my Presto card. It's always easy to find. I have my little swimmer comb here. This is from a Japanese brand called Swimmer, which um, I think kind of went out of business for a while, but they are back now. Um, I follow them on Instagram now because didn't know until one of you guys, one of my viewers, said that they're back, and I'm so happy about that. Here I have my sunglasses. These are in a Bond look case, although uh, they're not Bond look uh, glasses, but this case is so great. I'll show you why soon. Uh, first of all, the color is great. The sunglasses inside are from Kate Spade, but the case that came with these sunglasses was dark green, which I didn't like as much, so I love these sunglasses. I actually bought them at the Kate Spade store and then got my prescription put in them, which felt like I wish I had- I'd never had prescription sunglasses before these feels mind-blowing. This case is really cool because when you're not using it, it just, you can just fold it up and it folds flat like this. Isn't that amazing? So when you're wearing your sunglasses, it doesn't take up any room in your bag. It just fits flat like this. Now you see why I use this case all the time. It's so great. Next, I have 
my little electronics bag. It's a Care Bears bag. I really love vintage Care Bear art. It's so, oh, just nostalgic and charming. And inside I've got a couple of things. The first being my charge cord for my phone. You don't want to be caught unawares without a cord. You never know when you're going to need to charge your phone. Then I have my Pokeball Plus um, controller, which I use for playing Pokemon Go on my phone. I have been an active Pokemon Go player since 2016, actually. I never stopped playing. Uh, I really love it. I've got my little power bank here, too. This company, sadly, I think is out of business right now. The Mimo Power Deck um, brand. I don't think they're still in business, but it's a great, you know, power bank to have. You never know when you need a little more charge on your devices, so I keep that on me. Now I have my, I don't know, miscellaneous. You guys know I love a little pouch. There's lots of little pouches in my hand. Start, we have a little um, hand sanitizing Purell wipe. I've got some of these little chimes candies because I get motion sick. They're ginger candies. I also have my little strawberry lip balm. This was actually uh, a Christmas gift from ASMR Glow. Um, they sent me a bunch of little color pop stuff. It was so nice. So, Sharon, if you're really strawberry. I love it. I use it all the time. I've also got a tampon because you never know when you might be able to help somebody out or you never know. Use it yourself. And I keep all of these in a little bag in my purse. Now into artsy stuff. I've had this little sketchbook for watercolor paper for a while. It's actually a hand-me-down from a friend who was getting rid of a bunch of watercolor stuff and uh, she gave me two of these actually. I haven't used it yet. I love the shape though. Isn't the shape just like so interesting? This like long, um, I guess horizontal, it depends on how you use it, but the pages are really nice and thick. You can see how thick they are. I haven't tried it yet, so I can't speak to the paper quality for painting, but I think it's going to be great. I also love that it has this little plastic pocket in the back. You can put things if you need to, and a little bookmark to save your books. It's just very sweet, this, so I'm looking forward to using it. The shape is so, I'm like, uh, charmed by it's got a little band to keep your pages tight. Then I also have these really fascinating watercolors. They are flat, which makes them perfect for traveling on the go. I haven't been doing much on the go lately, so I haven't used these yet, but they're, they seem so nifty for they're color sheets. So basically, there is a small amount of paint here on these spots that you can activate by putting water on them. And they're separated by these like small sheets of like onion skin wax paper. Oh, look at the colors. Aren't these gorgeous? I love the way they look. I'm not expecting, like, super strong pigments from them, but they could be. I don't really know. I haven't used them yet. I'm looking forward to it. If you've used these before, let me know what you think about the quality of the paint. They're just so convenient for travel. You could be, like, on the train using these comfortably. I just find them so nice and, like, travel-friendly. 
Although you do kind of have to let the pages dry before packing them up. I also have this set of double-ended colored pencils. I haven't used these yet either, but they just seem so travel-friendly. The packaging is so slim. There's no extra cardboard pieces. They're really lightweight. The fact that you get two colors in one pencil, it's amazing for travel. Plus, I really like the combination of watercolor and colored pencils. So it's nice to be able to have both taking up very much space in your bag. This is my art supply pouch. Yeah, I really like all the pouches in the bag. It just keeps things organized. And this little bag has a cute rose motif. I love how it says, like, a brand of lovely. It's just so good. And it has this little cute little dangles leaves on them. This is a great simple pencil case. I've got a pocket up here with my eraser and ruler. So this is the kind of brush that I use for traveling. I've had this for a long time. These are Pentel, I believe. It's a brush for watercolor that has water built in. So you don't need to like bring water with you or do messy things. You just refill the back of the brush and the lid keeps everything nice and secure. You don't have to worry about leakage in your bag. And I keep that right here. I've got two other pens as well. These are um, black calligraphy style pens. One I believe is Pentel. I'm not sure the other they do smear with water, so I can only use them after paint. Sharpener, post-it notes. These are more for my day planner. And the little stubby pencils that I refuse to give up on. I am that person who will keep using a pencil until it's impossible to use it. Because I don't want to waste them. You know, they're good pencils. They deserve to have a full life and live up to their full potential. That's what I would want if I were a pencil. I'm not uh, bringing too, too many art supplies, but you'd be surprised. You can fit quite a lot into a space if you try really hard. I want to say I hope you all are doing well, and if you're not, that's okay too. Personally, I'm kind of having a little bit of a hard time right now, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm not ready to give up. I'm gonna keep showing up, keep trying every day, and try to do the best I can. I'm so grateful for all of you. I don't know how I lucked out and managed to find such wonderful folks in you all. I'm really appreciative that not only are you all so kind and thoughtful and just wonderful to me, but you're also really wonderful to each other. And that means so much to me. I really appreciate you all. And if you're having a hard time right now, you're really not alone. There's, there's a lot of us and we're all in it together. Gonna have a nice little day out. I hope that you get to do that too. I love you all so much. Bye for now.